On today's episode of The Joy of Editing, we're looking at the Bleach Bypass Filter. It's found in Nick Color Effects Pro. This is part of the Nick Collection 5. This is a really interesting and a fun and creative filter. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, we're looking at the Bleach Bypass Filter. This is a really great filter, especially... If you want to add a creative flair to your images, it works on all types of different images. And I have a few different examples for you to see today of how cool this filter can really be. And I think you're going to enjoy this one, so stay tuned. By the way, this is the last day of the DxO Black Friday sale. Today is Monday, November 28th, 2022. And you could get the Nick Collection for $75 if you own the Nick Collection 3 or 4, you can upgrade it for $39. So that's a nice savings. All DxO software is on sale right now, up to 50% off. So don't forget, take advantage of this. I'll have an affiliate link directly below in the description. You can click on that. It'll take you right to the Black Friday sale. Before we jump into the Bleach Bypass Filter, let's take a look at the manual for Color Effects Pro on the Bleach Bypass Filter. This filter simulates the technique used on color films where the bleaching process has been skipped. The result is high contrast and low saturation. Both set photographers and animated filmmakers use this effect to create striking stylized images. With this filter, we have a brightness control. Just controls the overall brightness of the image and also a saturation control because remember this filter gives you lower saturation so sometimes you may want a little bit more saturation we have an overall contrast control just a basic contrast control and then we have a local contrast adjustment this is an important one uses a custom variation of the structure slider found in some other nick collection plugins to emphasize fine detail and texture in the image and you're going to see how this one works this is a good one and of course we have shadow and highlight protection as we do in all of the Nick filters. Now that we have a better understanding of what kind of effect we're going to get, let's see what actually happens. The example images I've chosen for today, I think will really benefit from the bleach bypass filter. So let's give them a try. We'll start out with this one here. This is from the Day of the Dead. So let's see what this looks like. To launch Nick filters, I always like to use the Nick selective tool. You can find it here under File under Automate and Nick Selective Tool 2. Just click on that and it opens up the Nick Selective Tool. I'm under the category of Color Effects Pro 5. And anytime you favorite a filter in any of the Nick Collection filters, they'll show up in your list here of filters. And I favorited the Bleach Bypass, so all I have to do is click on this and we'll open up Color Effects Pro with the Bleach Bypass filter. What we're seeing is the default look, but notice how the saturation has definitely been reduced and we have a much higher contrast and the image takes on a more intense look. If I click on this compare button here, left click it with my mouse and hold it down, here's the before, a much more tame image, but here's the after, a more, I don't know, surreal, just more dramatic look to the image. Now, if we look over here to the left, bleach bypass see the little line that indicates that we're on that filter there's a drop down here and you have a bunch of different presets in here that you could use if you want to but i just want to show you how all these controls work today and by the way once you get a look that you like you can save that out as a preset if you want and that's holds true for all of the nick filters by the way you can also click this checkbox here and see the before and click it again and see the after now of course we have a brightness we can darken it up or lighten it up or I'm just gonna go back to where it was at zero. We can increase saturation if we want to, to give it more saturation, depending on what type of look you're looking for, or we can decrease the saturation. And by the way, you can reset the filter. See the two arrows here, if you click here, you have different options. You can just reset the filter, keep the local adjustments, or reset the filter and delete the local adjustments. You can copy control points, paste control points all from here. I'm just going to go ahead and reset this filter because I like the look of it right there. But then this is just an overall contrast. If you feel the contrast is too high, you can reduce the contrast by pulling this back to the left. 
or you can increase it by pulling it to the right. Let me go ahead and reset it again. And then we have the local contrast. This is the one that can really give you some really grungy type looks. Check it out. I'll just move it to the right so you can see what it's doing here. See how it gets a lot more grungier when it's like that? Or you can reduce that grunge effect by dragging it the whole way to the left. So you can give it a more smooth look or a more grungy look. I like to call this the grunge slider because you can really grunge up the image. Let me go ahead and reset it because I like the default setting on this image right here. So there it is. In fact, I may just reduce this local contrast just a little tiny bit, like right there. Now here's the before and here's the after. But as you can see, it's a pretty easy filter to use. Whenever you have an image that you really want to get creative with and give it some drama, this is a good one to try. And when you're happy with everything, just click apply and that'll send you right back into Photoshop. Let's take a look at the before. Here's the before and here's the after. And don't forget, you always have the opacity slider. If you just want to kind of blend that in with the original image, you could pull this back a little bit, you know, maybe to like 81%. But in this case, I think I like it up the whole way. I just really like that look. Now let's try a different image. Let's, this is a really good type of an image. If you're into minimalistic photography and you're just looking for artistic looking images the bleach bypass filter can really help an image and i think you'll see on this image how it can really give it a whole new look i'll go ahead and launch the bleach bypass filter that's a hard one for me to say bleach bypass and already look at that it looks really cool so let's play with some of these adjustments here maybe take the brightness back just a little wee bit Maybe give it a little bit more saturation just so that little gold area comes out a little bit stronger. And let's check the contrast. Do I want more contrast? No. Maybe a little less contrast. Not much. And let's try the local contrast. Let's move it to the right and see how much more grungier it gets. This image can actually take the grunge. I'll move it to the left so you can see the effect. It gets a, little, a lot more smoother. But I'm going to grunge this one up a good bit more, maybe right around here. And all these little details start to pop out. Now, with this, I can use like, uh, let's try a control point here. Let's use a negative control point And let's go right on this padlock here and click it. And let's make this a little bit larger. I want some of that original gold back in there, the color gold in there. and But then we could take this opacity slider and still add a little bit of that grunge in there, but not quite as much. Maybe somewhere right around there. Let's take a look. Here's the before, and here's the after. But look at the difference. And I, and I think you'll agree with me that this really takes it to a whole nother level, which I really like. By the way, I forgot to mention on that first image that we have this shadow and highlight protection slider. Our shadow and highlight protection. So if your shadows are getting too blocked up, you can move this to the right and open those shadows up a little bit. And the same for the highlights. If the highlights are starting to blow out, you can protect those highlights by dragging this over to the right as well. So we have shadow and highlight protection, which is very important for this filter. Because remember, it's really increasing the contrast. Now here's something else that's very effective with this filter, and that's clear view. The clear view adjustment, which is kind of more of a dehazing type thing. But if we move this to the right, we can add some dehazing and sometimes you can get some really cool effects when you add just a little bit of that clear view in with the image. I'm going to leave it off on this one, but don't forget that's one that you can play around with too. It really works well with this bleach bypass filter clear view. I like the results I've gotten here. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply and that'll send us back into Photoshop. Now let's take a look. Here's the before and here's the after. And don't forget, we have the opacity slider that we could start to pull this back a little bit and just kind of blend it in with the original image. Here's the before and here's the after. And I think I like it. But this is creative art, this type of stuff, you know, and this bleach bypass filter can take these minimalistic type images and turn them into something special. Now let's go on to our next image. And that will be this one right here. And by the way, don't forget to leave comments and questions. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Help promote the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I really appreciate when you do that. But let's see what kind of look we can get on this image. I'm kind of really hopeful for this one. Well, let's go ahead and find out. I'm going to go ahead and click on Bleach Bypass. 
And here we are. Let's uh, see the before. Here's the before and here's the after. But look at all the really cool detail. But I'm not satisfied with this. I think I may darken it a little bit. Let's pull the brightness back just a little bit. Not much. Let's give it more saturation. This one, I think, needs a little bit more saturation. Yeah. I mean, a decent amount of saturation, actually. Here's the before and here's the after. But I like that extra saturation. And contrast, I think, looks really good. And let's try the grunge control, the local contrast. Let's give it more. See that detail really starts to pop, and I like it. Let's move it to the left and see what kind of a look we get. I like to experiment with these sliders. That looks kind of nice, too, depending on what kind of a look you're going for. But I feel grungy today. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, does it? I feel grungy today. But I'm going to give it a little bit more grunge. I think that looks good. And I think my highlights and shadows are looking pretty good. I may just take my highlight slider to the right a little bit and protect those highlights and the shadows are looking really good and i like this creation let's take a look here's the before and the after i like it i'm going to click apply now we're back in photoshop here's the before one more time and here's the after let's pull the opacity back a little bit and see if now nah, you know what this takes this needs the full opacity of 100 percent what do you think i like it now, I have one more example for you, and that is this image of, hey, Santa Claus, it's getting close to Christmas time. Let's see if we can give Santa a nice, artistic, grungy-type look. Let's launch Bleach Bypass and see what we get here. Now, I like Santa's face here, and I thought the grunge look, look at that, right out, right out of the gate, that grunge look looks really good. Let me see. I think he does need some more saturation. After all, it is Santa Claus. Let's make his outfit a little bit more red. And I think it helps the flesh tones as well. Now, I'm getting a little bit of a halo here. So I'm going to use a control point to take care of that. I'll use a negative control point, And I think if I click right here. Yeah, see, I can get rid of that right there. There's a little halo right in here as well. Let's put a negative control point here too. And that helps. Now, remember, you have this opacity slider. You can blend in some of the effect by moving this to the right. Okay. And down here, I think it looks good, so I'm not going to mess with it. But let's take a look. Here's the before and here's the after. Now, I think we're blowing out the highlights on the white here. So let's go ahead and grab the highlight slider. And we may need to drag this a good bit to the right here. Yeah, just to help that out. And maybe pull back our regular contrast control just a little wee bit. I think that'll help. We don't want to grunge them out too bad. And let's try the local contrast. We can add more grunge into them with this. How about a little bit? Just a little bit there. And don't forget, we have clear view up here. Let's see what a little bit of clear view does. Yeah, and I do think the clear view really helps out these areas that we're getting blown out in this area here. And I like it. Let's take a look. Here is the before. And now here is the after. I really like what this filter is doing to Santa's face. And I love Santa's expression here. So I like it. And I think this works well with this image. It's a more fun looking type image. And I think a little bleach bypass really adds to the whole look of the image. I'm going to go ahead and click apply and we'll send this back into Photoshop. And now here we are in Photoshop. Here is the before and the after. I like it. And remember, we have the opacity. We can pull this back just a little wee bit. And I think maybe right around there looks cool. Here's the before and the after. So now we have a really cool Santa image. The bleach bypass filter can be very effective for man's faces. So bear that in mind. As you can see on this gentleman's face here, Santa Looks really cool. Brings out lots of really cool detail in his beard, in his face, everywhere. And also the suit of Santa looks really nice as well with all that extra detail. Well, there it is, everyone. That was the Bleach Bypass Filter, part of Nick Color Effects Pro, part of the Nick Collection. And don't forget, it's on sale right now. This is the last day for the Black Friday sale. So don't forget and pick it up if you don't have it yet. If you enjoyed my tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, 
Please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Each time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.